How did the people support the movie, like, on, on the street level? What was the people's response to the movie? Oh, man, they were standing around the block in the rain. We almost broke the box office record down at, uh, at the Woods Theater when it opened. Okay. And uh, only a James Bond movie uh, drew more uh, people. Now, w w your film, was it featured in there, or, uh, or was it uh, like a, a second movie that go, like a, a duplex, or I mean a deluxe? No, it was it, the only me uh, movie shown in, in the woods. Okay. Uh, on the second go around, it was shown in, at the McVickers. But what happened is uh, we started getting reports that exhibitors were being visited by FBI agents mm. in an attempt to uh, convince them of the uh, danger of this film. In some cases, uh, the film would open on Friday and close on Sunday. Mm. Yeah, because it, it didn't really have long runs. How uh, long was that run? About just... Uh, uh, it was on the market, hit and miss from uh, Labor Day weekend 1973 until February of 74. That's when a delegation of the FBI met with the uh, distributors, United Artists, uh, who were not the producers. Ivan and I were co-producers. And uh, they shut it down in February of 74. And, and Black Hollywood didn't rally behind you? You know, Black Hollywood didn't try to support you? Hell no. <laughs> wow, man, what's wrong with black folks, man? Come on, man. They, they didn't get to be making movies in Hollywood by doing the kind of stuff I do. Well, I'll, I'll take exception. It's not a little bit controversial. It was very yeah. controversial. All right. Well, see, I'm trying to I'm trying to fly under the radar right now, but that's, right. but that, that's right. okay. Right. I'm not politically right. correct. Right. 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 No, don't make no apologies for me. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what was the white media's response to it, like, or, or the military, especially when you have you know young black brothers, former gang bangers, but not revolutionaries, you know, going me. after the police and the army. Well, Gene Sisko went up the wall, man. He. he <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't give you a yeah. thumbs up. <laughs> oh, no, uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> See now the uh the book was largely uh ignored uh, by the critics. And uh the government I don't think was too uh, worried about that because to this day they think we don't read. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Wow. But when it became a movie, they know we go to movies. Mm -hmm. We make up twenty six percent of the movie audience although we only have 13% of the total population. So we're solid moviegoers. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when it became dangerous. I, I thought it was uh, a, a tremendously controversial movie. Um, but I thought what was nice about it is that, and, and no matter what way you look at it, you can say what you want, but everybody kind of grouped their efforts together to have one common goal. Now, if that goal is positive or negative, that's controversial, I think, in this movie. But uh, I thought it was uh, definitely a thought-provoking movie. Uh, you know, it's funny. I, I really felt it came under the under the radar. I, I've never heard I've never heard of it until we knew that I knew that you were going to be on this show, and so I watched it and I thought it was pretty controversial. Well, I got uh, some bootleg copies for sale. <laughs> 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 that's right. Don't forget. Don't forget to our listeners. You got twenty dollars. <laughs> I got you. Boy, twenty dollars. Yeah. I thought it was only two ninety nine. Not like that. Huh? Mom, oh, man. no. <laughs> <time. laughs> it, it was controversial, but it also has some real life. Uh, issues in it, yeah. like no towards question. the ending. Yeah. I agree. You know, you I, gotta. I, you might think somebody, your friend, mm -hmm. turn around and be your worst enemy. Yeah, I thought throughout the movie, you know, you saw uh, just even, you know, when the when the ages were being trained. You know, I can remember even in med school, uh, Marlon. You may remember this. You know, there was this thing where all the black medical students, we couldn't stand together because if we stood together, people might get nervous. And I was like, wait a minute, how is that? How? I mean, I'm like, you know, a group of Asian students can stand together, That's right. nobody That's says right. anything. A group, but you mean, we stand in this yeah. little corner supporting each other, whatever, uh, crack, cracking a joke, uh -huh. getting the, some pop. But I'm just saying, like, I remember, um, I remember watching the movie thinking, you know, there were so many instances where I could place my own situation in or just kind of, it was it was real it was real powerful. Yeah, for for our listeners, I think it's important for us. I I, I know we don't want to give the movie away, but we really need to let the 
listeners know exactly what we're talking about here. We're talking about Sam Greenlee's movie, uh, A Spook, uh, w- 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 a spook, spook, sat, spook by sat by the Door. Yeah, and this is from time. 1973, so yeah. we had to let him know. So, like, for instance, in, in, in one part in the movie where all the, um, uh, all the light-skinned brothers... And I'm a light skinned brother myself, so yeah. I'm gonna tell you like that. Well, no, all the light skinned brothers went well, like and, and robbed and robbed. <laughs> 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 all the light skinned brothers, and, and this is something I've been dealing with all my life, so I know how it is to be light skinned, you know. So all the light skinned brothers, about four or five of them, go and rob a bank, and then you know they leave. And the description by the police officers that they're looking for the the criminals are five white men. I thought that was pretty, pr- uh, pretty. <laughs> I, I don't know what. How, what do you think about right? that? I thought it was impressive. Well, I thought that was, that was I, deliberate I, because the black power was. movement, Black is Beautiful, uh, produced a lot of heat for light skinned blacks. Mm-hmm. So Good I had point. to throw down for it. All right. Well, we. we <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. It saved you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I, I'll tell you too. One thing that definitely can go, th- can happen today as a black man with a broom and a smile. You're oh, that was that was notice. brilliant. And you can slide through anywhere and get, get a lot of things done without being noticed. But keep in mind, th- this movie was made in 1973. And we're talking about a movie that's over 30 years old. And it's still as an it's impressive. Still relevant, yeah, though. still very yeah, impressive. Still a, as still impressive relevant. as it is today. I never anticipated that. That's what I wanted to know. You know. Well, it just goes to show you how far we thought we were going. Well, the book has uh, been in continuous print since 1969. Wow. Yeah, right. You can get it on Amazon.com. Mm-hmm. And you can get the uh, autographed copy of the film from me. So th- the listeners uh, get a pen. I'll give you my phone number later on, and all you got to do is call me, and I'll tell you how to get a hold of an autographed copy. Oh uh, yeah. Well, listeners, uh, make sure you give us a call. Give us a call. Let's talk to uh, uh, Mr. Sam Greenlee at seven seven three nine two eight nine two three zero. This is Project Brotherhood Power Hour. Let's talk well, about the backlash. Besides yourself, like were any actors on the blacklist from from participating in this movie? Uh, yeah, uh, Lawrence Cook, who played the lead, mm-hmm. never got another featured uh, role. Uh, mm. Same thing with Paula Kelly. Mm. Okay, that was the, the police officer. The police officer no, no, I'd seen uh, in a couple uh, movies. No, yeah. the p- police officer. I think people identified him as yep. a cop. Right. So he continued to have a, a, <laughs> <laughs> a very right. prosperous he, he career. Got yeah. He still got roles. Right. Yeah, he had a he prosperous career. Roles. Right. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah now he Paula did. Kelly was the young lady, right? No, Paula Kelly was the homie queen. Okay. The prostitute. Okay. Okay. Right. The one. Right. The one. Who, yeah. Right. Who, yeah. Right. Yeah. It was yeah. all pretty, pretty women in that movie. Yeah. 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 And let, yeah. let's talk about that selection process. Uh, how, how especially the one at the beginning. You know, that was talking to the who was it? Who was it? The senator. The, the black oh, girl. Yeah, I want you to talk about how he interviewed yeah, for the dancer. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I kind of care. How many dances the, did he go through let's before find he picked out on her? The recruiting process on that <laughs> right, movie. Right. How did you recruit the black black? Well, I know they needed work, well, but how did you recruit woman. Woman. Woo! Oh, oh watch out now. That's how she got the girl. That's right. Now we talk. Now we got out. Right. So okay, so we 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 had her on board, but how about the other one? Now you you notice. When she's dancing, she's looking just to the right of yeah, the camera. Yeah, I noticed that. Right, right. Looking at me. Because that's where I was sitting. <laughs> 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 that's that's Chicago play. Well, okay, that, right. That's one thing I do like about those older movies, boy, the women, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah the women, yeah, black yeah. women are beautiful, yeah. man. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So the recruiting process to get those actors on board to, to play these roles, I mean, that wasn't hard. You just kind of... Uh, what I even put out there, hey, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying. We auditioned in uh, uh, L.A. and New York, and here a number of the uh, uh, roles were played by uh, uh, Chicago actors. Okay, uh, Paul Butler, for instance, played uh, the head gangbanger. Uh, Paymoon Rami, and his name, his name at that time was Anthony Ray. He played uh, Shorty the dope dealer. Oh. Okay. And there were other uh, minor roles played by Chicago actors. Okay. And, for instance, uh, the riot scene. Those weren't professional actors uh, working as extras. They were people from the immediate uh, Gary neighborhood. Because you were, uh, yeah, that scene was, they were, you could tell you were in the grid of it. The camera was right there in the middle, and it seemed like straight chaos. 
Um, how that scene now was that done in Chicago? That was done. They in, it was in Gary. Gary. That, that yeah, was in done. Gary. In, yeah. Right. And so the reason it's, it's so authentic <laughs> is that the cops were not actors. Mm -hmm. They were Gary police in in uniform, off oh, duty. Okay. And these police were the same ones that patrolled the neighborhood. So the extras had a a, a shot at. Going upside of uh, a car's <laughs> head. <laughs> <laughs> a free shot yeah, okay. so it we almost had a real ride going on. Okay, okay, yeah, because yeah. Uh, yeah, I could tell that, like I said, it was real grit and it was a lot of chaos going on. So now, well, let me tell you this: uh, to show the kind of support we got from Gary, uh, I was set up to show the uh, aftermath of the riot, mm -hmm. and the chief of police came over and said, uh, "Ivan can use a helicopter." Sh shot. I haven't said, hell yeah, it would have cost $200,000. <laughs> he got on the walkie-talkie, here comes the Gary Police helicopter, sat down in the street, cameraman got on with a handheld camera, and you got that one helicopter shot showing the uh, the mm. overhead of uh, that was nice. the bird side. Plus, right. you also have, have right. a shot of the helicopter coming straight down the street as well. Right. Um, so, so, speaking so, of finances, how much did it cost to, to do this movie?